So I've had something kind of on my mind the last couple weeks, and that is wildfires. Wildfires. And I've thought about it so much, and I thought, hey, I'm going to jump on here and share it. See, many times um, wildfires are created, you know, typically by something so small. Some are created unintentionally. Some are created, you know, by someone who was just being careless and didn't take precautions. And some are created by someone knowing exactly what they were doing. But no matter how you spin it or how a wildfire, you know, gets started, its results are always the same. It always brings destruction and it always brings devastation. And see, there's a connection uh, with our words in that same kind of concept. See, our words are like sparks and they, they have the potential to ignite a wildfire and it can literally start so, so easily. We can repeat something that was said to us, you know, to someone else and it can reap, you know, consequences. Why? Because what we repeated was useless and meaningless and it should have stopped at us. And a lot of times this is, you know, unintentional, but it still brings opportunity to spark a wildfire. And see, when we lose awareness in our speech and, and our emotions, you know, begin directing and leading the conversation, many, many times we will end up saying, you know, way, way more than what we should. And the crazy thing is, is that we may wake up the next day and not even feel that way and wish that we wouldn't have shared, you know, all those 50 complaints that we shared yesterday because today we don't feel that way. We feel completely different because we actually got something to eat and went to sleep. So we feel completely different, you know, today. See, we need to have an, aware, an awareness and alertness in what we're saying. We also need to have an awareness and alertness, you know, in who we're engaging in conversation with. That matters so much. We need to really take precautions when it comes to our conversations. And then uh, even in conversations, and if we spin it a little more, there are times when we flat out know that the Holy Spirit is saying, no, like don't say it. And we are so convicted not to say it. And I don't really know what happens. Something inside of us just, I don't know, just totally defies that and just is like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it. And we do it anyways. And it feels so liberating and satisfying in the moment. But as soon as we say it, as soon as it comes out, there's like this gut wrenching feeling of just, I don't know, not good, not good. And you feel so bad because you know that you didn't listen to, you know, to the Holy Spirit. And then we have to deal with the consequences that comes after we said what we know we shouldn't have said because sin has consequences. See, if we intentionally start off a wildfire, that's something that we got to live with. We just hope that it doesn't, you know, burn the entire state down. But see, relationships can be broken and people can be hurt because our words, they really can cut deep. See, the Bible says in Proverbs 18, 21, that death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And James chapter 3 is full of wisdom concerning the tongue. See, what we say matters. It really does matter. Our words echo for eternity. So may there be something, you know, different in our speech and in the way that we conduct our conversations. That every single day that we get up, we start our day with an awareness and an alertness. Because when we choose to use our words, you know, correctly, that's when our words really are beautiful. Words can be so beautiful when they're used correctly. And if we're going to start a fire, may it be a fire of, you know, kindness and peace and self-control and, and righteousness that, you know, spreads throughout the land and brings glory and honor to the one who created us.